I've booked him for a number of events. I think he works really well for all kinds of audiences. We liked it so much. We had my entire sales force see Jim not only in Miami, Florida, but in Palm Springs, California, and both times he got a standing ovation. And the reason he's so good at it is because he's done it himself. Jim's presentation, Taming Tigers, was one of the best presentations that we have ever seen. Does anybody in the audience have voices in their heads? The voice in your head. But that's the voice I'm worried about is the voice you just had a little chat with and you were saying, no, luckily I'm okay. I don't hear voices in my head, but he's got a problem, right? <laughs> oh, well, then who am I talking to? That, that's the voice. And what is the tiger? The tiger to me is the thing that stops us, roars at us, and stops us doing what heart and soul we want to go do. How we manage our minds and our hearts and our emotions when we're asking ourselves to take astute risk. I think we're all writing the story of our lives, would you agree? We hold the pen, we write the story, every moment of every day, decision, action, result. The tiger gets in the way of our decisions, our little insecurities, our worries about what would happen if it went wrong, what would happen if other people saw that I wasn't perfect. And that is our great enemy to innovation. The rules help us to avoid the tiger. They allow us to fast forward the Blu-ray disc of life and see what disasters are ahead if we act in the new way. If we try and break the rules that have kept us safe, but if we don't break those rules, we are static. Going, he said, I've got a challenge. I bet you can't use your amazing age rules to become a jockey riding in your first race live on the television under UK Jockey Club Rules of Racing. I'll give you one year, one pound says it cannot be done. I knew nothing about horse racing. I had no interest in horse racing. Jockeys usually start learning to ride a horse somewhere between the age of three months and six months. And I'm 36 years old. I can find no stories about a 36-year-old fat guy who becomes a jockey, right? When I heard that Jim wanted to be a jockey within a year, I thought, absolutely no chance. I've got to get on the horse. I've got to ride it. You get down to the start of the horse race, you know what they do? They put you into a coffin-shaped steel cage with half a ton of excited equine muscle that wants to run. Now we're going to take one hand off. We're going to wave it in front. Good work, Madam Ambassador. We're going to leave it behind. An early bit for glory here from Jim Lawless having his first ride on Air Gusto. But he's proved us all wrong. What an amazing story that is. That guy hadn't sat on a horse a year ago. I'm joined by Jim Lawless, who's had his first ride in public today, and I can tell you it's quite a story. First of all, Jim, looked like you enjoyed yourself. Absolutely tremendous. Really, really great day. Really enjoyed it. And I'm so glad it's all gone well, horse and me back safe. So yeah, great. The fear of not acting is big. Bigger than the fear of doing the new stuff. Most of us wait until that point. Jim came into the only one of Nia Center less than one year ago, talking about taking a new British record. My lungs are now the size of my fists. My stomach has been pulled in tight by the vacuum, which means that at 80 meters, you look fantastic. <laughs> you have to take a decision before you start your dive. And that decision is this. I am now going to 101 meters non-stop at the rate of 1.6 meter per second at that speed if something goes wrong your eardrum implodes
42-year-old Jim dived into the sea in Egypt and reached 101 metres. The diver who's broken a UK record by plunging underwater and holding his breath for more than two minutes. Ladies and gents, you hold the pen, you're writing the story. What you do is deeply important. Go do it, write your blockbusters. It's been a privilege spending time with you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.